There are some settings we can go over for our classroom. Once you go to this screen and go Guardian, find the classroom you want to edit. Click on Settings. It will take you to the Settings screen for this classroom. You're going to need to select a subject. It does not matter necessarily what you select. That's just some internal information that they need. But however you need it, I usually just choose English because we use English in everything that we do. You do not need a description. Default scene. So there's a section inside GoGuardian that allows for scenes to happen, and this would allow for a scene to be on by default. And I'll go over that in a moment when we see scenes. If you want to change a tile color right here, classroom tile color, uh, if you're a color-coded type of person, you can make this a pink class, or light crimson, a green, whatever you want. You need to make sure you click Update Classroom. And now the settings have been updated. You can see it gives you a little notice right up here. After Info, this next tab is called Scheduling. Scheduling is um, takes the remembering to turn on GoGuardian, taking that hand uh, busy work and making it automatic. What I mean by that is, let's say I'm teaching fifth grade and my students are going to be my students, and I'm going to be monitoring their Chromebook activity from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. If I want to make it so it automatically turns on, on the scheduling tab, I can click Add Schedule, and I can start at 8 a.m., can choose my end time, start end at 3 p.m. and say okay. If I wanted to make it longer than that and go till 4 p.m., I can say okay as well. And I want to monitor on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Friday. And now I click add schedule. And so it's now automatically turned on my GoGuardian session for those days. I can come in here and manually change one of them if I want to. Um, there's a limit to how long your GoGuardian session can be. It cannot be any longer than uh, the window from 8 until 4. Um, so you can change that around. Um, you can also have multiple schedules during the day. So if you wanted to not have to look through several hours of browsing history to see what your students are working on, you can create multiple sessions on a Monday. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to change this to from 8 a.m. until... 9 a.m. Say OK. So now on Mondays, it'll go from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. But I want another one on Monday from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. Don't have to do this, but now I have two different sessions. So when I get reports for that session, I'll be able to see just the activity that happened during that time. For distance learning, I would always recommend just leaving it on all day unless your students have multiple teachers. If your students have multiple teachers, you're going to want to make sure that you're only accessing or only activating GoGuardian at the time that they are your student. So if this student is not yours between 8 and 9 a.m., we can delete that one on Monday and we would monitor for the rest of the time in there. I'm going to delete this one, change this back to four. In my experience with uh, working in the spring of 2020, this was the most useful way to go. So that's automatically saved. Now we'll go over to the reporting tab. Right here is enable session report emails. And what this does is give you a snapshot at the end of every session that tells you which student was logged in the longest, um, which student uh, accessed, spent the most time on which websites, and it's kind of useful. It's especially useful when you're just starting out. You can see how many of your students have logged in. I like using this because um, maybe a student didn't come to one of my Zoom sessions, but I would have a record of them uh, logging in, and it would help me know that, okay, they were able to access their Chromebook and do things they just chose not to come in my classroom at that time. So uh, report emails are kind of a nice uh, view at a glance.